Mbaye Begere from the Senegal National Sanitation Utility in uh, Onas in Dakar, Senegal. He will be telling us about the structuring of Fika Lodge Market for the benefit of poor households in Dakar, Senegal. Dr. Baye, please. Thank you, Nelson. Good uh, morning, everybody. We will present an innovative Fika Lodge Management Program led by the Senegal National Sanitation Utility and funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. This program gathers around on us several partners, including WSA, Water and Sanitation for Africa, who is headquartered in Burkina Faso, head of the research component of the program. It works in this component with an American NGO, call it uh, EIPA, Innovation for Poverty Action. Oxfam America is also another partner responsible for the sanitation component in flood front zones. EDE is a Senegalese consultant company, and in this project, EDE is responsible for assisting on us for the implementation of treatment facilities and communication issues. Some words about the context of this program. 84% of sub-Saharan African inhabitants use on-site sanitation facilities such as latrines, septic tank, and so on. In Senegal, nearly 92% are on non-collective sanitation. The cost of on-site sanitation, mainly pit discharging, is around 130 USD per year and per household. The collection and transportation of fecal sludge has always been in the hand of private service providers that are mechanical and manual MTLs, municipalities, as well as communities. Uh, can I have the next uh, slide? And prior to 2006, fecal sludge management were characterized by a direct dumping of sludge in the immediate vicinity in natural environments in the street during storms. An inefficient mechanical desludging services, an illegal dumping of sludge in the collective sewer network. Since 2006, three fecal sludge treatment centers are currently functional in Dakar. Next slide. The quantity of fecal sludge daily produced in Dakar is very important. With this figure, we see that right now, the production turns roughly around 1,500 cubic meters per day. And in 2025, we expect more than 2,000 cubic meters of fecal sludge per day. With these important quantities of liquid waste, daily produced in Dakar, a viable fecal sludge management system is essential. This is why this program is put in place. Next slide. The objective, uh, in the, we can say uh, before that this program take place in Pekin and Gedeway, which represent the most inhabited place of Dakar. They have both 1,200,000 inhabitants. The standard of living in these areas is very low because the majority of households earn less than $2 per day. Over 75% of households are on individual sanitation. The average cost of on-site sanitation, mainly pit dislodging, as I said, is around 130 USD per year and per household. What is the objective of this program? This program uh, aims to improve health and living condition of the inhabitants of Dakar suburbs with access to hygienic and affordable sanitation services. It will encourage the development of sanitation private sector, improve the quality of service offered by private MTLs, enhance the demand of mechanical service by improving access to information and awareness at the household level, facilitate the access to fecal sludge treatment facilities and their performance, and delegate the management of fecal sludge treatment plan to the private sector. Next slide. Fecal sludge management is a whole value chain. The goal is to making sanitation services safe and sustainable by addressing the failure to effective collection and transport, treat and reuse waste captured in on-site facilities. The program aims to improve the operation of each component of the chain for the improvement of the emptying service quality and affordable to the poorest household. 
In the case of Pekin, a big part of households are facing flooding problems, which affect seriously the storage and collection condition of fecal sludge. For these poor people, sanitation facilities are not existing or lacking. Therefore, we plan to develop at least two to three innovative toilet technology and services models for flood prone areas. And what are the expected results? Is to get in hand a replicable business model to service up to 5,000 families in flood prone areas of Pekin by 2015. To put in place a technical and financial model replicable in Senegal secondary cities and other towns in Africa. For the transportation component, the program works to eradicate manual emptying by a better organization of the activity of mechanical emptying. This passes through the definition of the condition for the exercise of mechanical emptying activity through the introduction of a license. This certification process takes an important place on the program activities. The program also seeks to streamline fecal sludge collection service through better control of the supply of services, a better matching between supply and demand. Track geolocalization is about to be implemented and a call center for emptying is operational through, is operational through a facilitated access to bank credit. The old vacuum track will also be renewed. Then with the competition introduced by the calling center, we hope a lower cost of household is empty. With the Gate Foundation, we, we, we work uh, about uh, new tracks calling the Omni Ingester. And the objective of the Omni Ingester is to make inside the track the separation of solid and liquid. And it will allow to MTS to reduce the fuel consumption because transportation cost is very is a big charge on the operational cost of this MTS. It is why the goal of this omni ingester is to reduce the full consumption of these, of these uh, operators. Next slide. For the treatment component, we can say that ONA has faced a lot of difficulties in balancing the cost of fecal sludge processing unit. The goal is to find systems that create added value with the reuse of byproducts from processing. The support of the foundation for the implementation of a biogas plant from fecal sludge will not only improve the functioning of treatment unit, but also have a repercussion on household by reducing cost. Next slide. For the first time on Africa, what about the key results? Waste treatment plants are delegated to the private sector. Till, uh, since November 1st, ONAS uh, give the operation of these fecal treatment facilities to the private sector. This allows them to intervene throughout the entire value chain. In the past, no relationship exists between ONAS and MTS. With this BMGF support, they are sitting together in the same premises to discuss mechanisms for improving the emptying services and improve the living condition of population. Thank you so much for your listening. Thank you very much, Maya. That's uh, a great presentation. Uh, just a few, yeah, just a few questions uh, before we end the day. Uh, in terms of emptying, so how does uh, your team uh, empty a very thick fecal sludge? I mean, sometimes you have a fecal sludge that is very, you know, difficult to to empty. How do you handle that? Yeah, uh, this is a very big point because in Dakar we can say that. Uh, uh, tracks are not, uh, we don't have so much vacuum track. We have pumping track. And 90% of track are pumping. And uh, the, uh, they face several difficulties to mobilize the second sludge inside the pit. And uh, what they do, they collaborate with manual emptiers. And when they complete uh, to empty the liquid part, manual emptiers help them uh, to empty the second sludge. This is why with the Omni Ingester, uh, we, our objective is to improve the, the working condition of these uh, tracks in order to, to, to help them to, to, to mobilize all the pit content, uh, both the liquid and the solid parts. 
Thank you, Mbaye. Uh, you mentioned the manual MTS. I know in Durban they have uh, quite an organized system for, for health, you know, protection. Uh, they are quite, uh, they even have uh, some uh, preventive measures that they take. I don't know how the situation is in uh, Dakar. Yeah, uh, we, uh, in Dakar, manual MTS is something very widespread because uh, we can uh, have around 48% of, uh, of manual MTS in Dakar, but uh, our, the objective of the program is to make manual emptying disappearing because uh, our objective is not to improve the working condition of this MTS, is to develop mechanical emptying by uh, uh, developing new track like Omni Ingester, uh, by uh, uh, developing some certification, some license for this MTS, but our objective is in 2015 to make uh, manual emptying uh, not disappearing completely, but uh, our, we, our goal is to reduce this practice uh, a lot. Yeah, yeah, on that same uh, uh, line, you know, you, you have to reduce this. Do you have some kind of a framework, a regulatory framework that uh, will uh, actually regulate this uh, exercise? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sanitation in Dakar is uh, at the hand of, of ONAS, the Senegal National Sanitation Utility. And FECA sludge management is part of uh, this sanitation component. And uh, in Senegal, uh, we have a very strong, the sole organization is ONAS, responsible for sanitation in Dakar and urban cities. It is a strong, and it is a very strong, this organization, and it works well. And uh, our object, uh, we can say that uh, the framework is very clear and uh, ONAS uh, is conducting some politics in order to, to, to improve the large management system. Uh, thank you. Just uh, some two technical questions now uh, in terms of the Omni ingestors. How large is this, uh, what's the size of these ingestors? And uh, another one on uh, tracking uh, uh, system, uh, like in Durban, they have this GIS uh, tracking system. Do you have one already installed, or are you planning to have yeah, one the, in Dakar? The tracking of tracks uh, for me is useful and relevant. This will allow the owner, uh, the MTA, to control the movement of their trucks and uh, to on us to improve the control of illegal dumping of sludge. Therefore, a GIS tracking system is very, very, very essential. As explained by Chris Berkeley in South Africa, we also plan to do it in Dakar. And uh, normally before uh, the mid-term of 2014, all uh, Dakar trucks will be geolocalized and every day we can know where these trucks are. And uh, for normally we can definitely share our experience with South Africa, but uh, for these GIS tracking systems. And about uh, yes, the only just uh, about your question, our objective right now we have a contract uh, of eight cubic meter of content. The objective is the, to allow the omni ingester to empty like this truck. And an omni ingester can, uh, in the first calculation we made with the Gate Foundation, can uh, per day mobilize eight, uh, roughly uh, about five Dakar trucks. And uh, when these five Dakar trucks is uh, uh, already uh, mobilized by the Omni ingester, we can uh, treat and separate solid and liquid. But uh, Dakar trucks, Dakar fecal sludge is very liquid. We have uh, around four gram per liter of dry solid. And in the Omni ingester, we can uh, mobilize goes to roughly uh, 20 gram per uh, total solid uh, per liter. It is why uh, we can uh, mobilize the content of eight Dakar trucks. All right, thank you very much, Mbaye, uh, for your time. Yeah, thank you. And uh, have, a, have a nice thank day. Thank you, Nelson. Hopefully, it can work uh, this time.